Shireen draws a circle in her courtyard. She then measures the circle circumference and its diameter with her measuring tape and records them as two integers A and B respectively. What is A? What is B? Circumference is A, diameter is B. My, this is not doesn't look like a diameter, but hey, don't worry, call it the diameter. She also finds A is to B to be 3.141614161416. Oh, lovely. We basically have to reduce this to a fraction, a rational number that gives us this. I'm going to call this as X, which happens to be A by B to be 3.141614161416. What am I going to do? I'm going to multiply this by 10,000. Why? 1416 is the recurring component. I move that completely. So if I have 10000x, that will be equal to 3146.1416, and so on. I subtract one from the other. This part completely disappears. I have 9999x to be equal to 31413, or x, which is a by b to be 31413.9999 should be a very nice approximation of pi rather nice what is a minus b subtract this from this we should be true but hey that their greatest common divisor is one we have to simplify this fraction this is a multiple of 9 and a multiple of 1111 so this is a multiple of 9 into 1111 which is 3 square into 11 into 101. 31413. Is that a multiple of 3? 3 plus 3 is 6. 6, so it's a multiple of 3. So 1, 3 will go away. Not a multiple of 9. Is that a multiple of 11? 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 10, 10 minus 2. Not a multiple of 11. So a 3 will go away. Maybe a 1 not 1 will go away. Let's first cancel off a 3. Cancel off a 3. Divide this by 3. 31413. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. This is a by b. Divide this by 3. 1014. Makes it 421. 10471 divided by 3333. Three, three, three. So, a really skeptical kind. Take this 10471. Divide this by 101 and check that. Doesn't work. So, these two are co prime. That's our answer. And there has to be. A minus B, which is 10471 minus 3333, 7000 something, done.